<laughs> Thank you. Hi, and welcome to the show. Have a quick flick through tonight's Slick Tricks. We've a wet and wild time in our crazy car wash, create chaos with our inconvenient cabling, and it's high intrigue with our cheating lady boss. You know those high-pressure hoses that they use in car washes? Well, have you ever wondered what would happen if one of them went totally bananas? Meet Leroy James, who was set up by his boss, Trudy Hicks. Trudy reckoned that Leroy was ready for a beadle type of job, so we got him along to work in our very own crazy car wash. Here's Leroy starting work in our garage and programming our computerized car wash. What he doesn't know is that we control the machine, and the car he's about to wash is covered with special paint that dissolves in water. Let's see how he gets on. The paint's coming off, and Leroy can't stop the machine. sprays. Now we'll turn the water off and let Leroy inspect the damage. More water, I think. comes our snooty lady car owner who's not too pleased with Leroy's work. Is that my car? I don't know. Is that my car? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? <laughs> I don't believe it. That's my car. What have you done? I want that car cleaned. I don't want the paint taken off it. What did you do? Well, he just... I've just started today. And he's just... Clean <laughs> <laughs> the paint off? I don't know. He just said, it on the... Enter our garage boss to cause more havoc with the high-pressure hose. Have you seen the state of my car? What have you done? I, I don't want you to my <laughs> Boy must be completely jinxed. He has taken all the paint off my car. Show me. Show me what you did. I'm not you didn't mess about with this, did you? No. Because this is very important. I just don't understand where you... Just a little accident, love, I'm sorry. No, what accident. did you do? Just show me what you did. That's what I've show, show, Yeah, but show me press physically B. what you did. Press B in. Press B. Well, right. press the B in. Like that. Yeah. 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 Then one. Show for Beadle to get wet. Oh, what? We have to do it here. It's amazing stuff. I told you it'll take off anything. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Trudy, 
Thank you very much. You said he was a great guy, and he really was. I mean, probably one of our cleanest stunts, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the sensational Leroy James. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Before we move on, Leroy, I'm going to show you something. You know, people always ask if I get tricks played on me. Well, I think you're going to enjoy this, Leroy. Take a look at what the team did to me. <laughs> The delightful lady next to me is Kerry Collins, and this is her sister, Suzanne, who wrote to tell us all about Kerry's pet hate. She can't stand it if people park across her driveway. <laughs> and I know the feeling, believe you me. So, Suzanne asked if we could arrange for something, some sort of permanent obstruction across Kerry's driveway. Mm -hmm. Well, with the help of Kerry's boyfriend, Alan Scotting, that's what we did. Here's our workman waiting for his boss. And here's Kerry, who's not happy about a cable junction box being installed across her driveway. How are you doing, Ray? I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to put that over my drive in front of the garage. So, what do you mean? What's it got to do with you? What, I live there, and we put that over my drive. You're driving in front of the garage. Oh, well, you're, you're one of the lucky ones, then. You'll soon be able to tune into cable television. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Can well, I see the plans that you're allowed to do that? Well, you can see the plans. I mean, it's just, uh, we're just filling the junction. What's the problem? Well, you're over my garage, and you're over the drive. She said I... she can't get her car in and out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't see what your problem is. No, you will do. As I say, we, we applied for a tender for cable television in this area. We're supplying the whole area. And uh, we were told by the council... Uh, excuse me, can I have my plans, please? Can I have my plans, please? Kerry's decided me, to discuss plans, the plans with a neighbour. What do you mean, what, when you finish with them? Excuse me. Excuse me, I'm sorry. You have no, no. right to show... Yeah, and you've them. got no... <laughs> putting it in front of you. I'm not going to run the junction box no. there, uh, but you have no right, you have just stolen my plans. Oh, I've stolen it? Yes. Oh, well, go and so, get me a minute, then. Could, could, could I have them back? Can I just have a look? Could I have them back, please? problem with me looking? Yes, I'd like my plans back, So please. I can't look? What's your, what's your problem? I don't see what your problem is. No. Sorry, I must take these. Uh, what's, your, what, what's your problem? I'll tell you what you can do. I'll oh, right off the floor. <laughs> I don't know why you don't like the box. <laughs> now, the, the problem seems to be the box, yeah? We could maybe paint it a more subdued colour, if that's a problem. Yeah, why not? Pick the green spots. <laughs> like a pink uh, green spot? We could do that, could well, we? I think that's a bit Where'd you get in from? <laughs> but this is unofficial, sir. Bang him. You want me to bang him? I'll show that on tape. Here comes Kerry's boyfriend, Alan, who's going to agree that driving a workman's a good idea. It's, it's, funny, it's cable, it's a cable television junction box. Then maybe <coughs> if I bang him over 50 quid. How much? How much? <laughs> what was that? Well, I know. Well, you can do it alone. You might as well do it, aren't you? You can't be allowed to do that. I know, it's unofficial. Yeah, but no, but if you sort of. Well, he gets it out of the way then, doesn't he? Kerry's about to meet our electricity man who's locked inside her house. We haven't got a kid. You've got a pass, please. Give me your f***ing door, Pete. Oh, that's charming. 
I won't break it, I promise. Well, if you've got another key, you might be using the wrong one. Is it the right way up the key? Don't ask any questions. We're only walking in out of here all day long and all night. Anybody fancy a cup of tea? <laughs> 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 well, I'll, I'll tell you one thing. Oh, that is no right. You've got no oh. right to touch that. Well, I'd, I'd Sorry, I'd you're using you very threatening behaviour. Yeah, well, wouldn't you if someone come round your house and you well, see you someone know. in your window? Hey, uh, he's out there, look. I just jiggled it and it came in. It's open. Mom. So, where's these keys, then? Show me them They're inside when we talk about them. Can I have a cup of tea when you go in there? <laughs> <laughs> One man's out, here comes a second. It's me as another dodgy workman. <laughs> I don't want to read it. What else you got? What? What else you walked out there with? I was only having a look at this. Well, can you have that all your pockets? Where are you being? Well, there's a man again. Can you have that all your pockets? I'm in a range of my house without permission. What's the matter with your pockets? 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 Unfortunately, Alan can't be with us tonight. He's actually a professional footballer and he's got an away match. But first of all, Suzanne, thank you for that letter. I mean, she really was an absolute diamond. She was perfect, I tell you. Absolute. Was she a star, ladies and gentlemen? Give her a round of applause, please. <laughs> Take a look at this. Oh, I can't believe it. So you and you. Who said who's married to who? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> And if you want to know what that was all about, we'll show you after the break. Stephanie McGee was brought to our notice by a colleague who thought she was perfect for Beatles About, and indeed, as you'll see, she was. We arranged for Stephanie to work in our set-up office. Our lady boss turned out to have a rather tangled love life in which Stephanie got caught up. Here's Stephanie starting work in our office and meeting our boss, Sue. But what's happening is, you see, my fella, who I'm meeting for lunch, he may ring, he may even come oh. and pop in. Oh, um, basically, this like, is, um, Jane knows all about it. Tickets to Venice Friday. Oh! The weekend. Oh, how hurtful. How hurtful. Do you think you'll like it? For you, Venice. Oh, you sweet you. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, uh, okay. Look, I'll only be ten minutes. Don't worry, it's, it's, it's you who's flapping, Sue. 
So, Stephanie gets on with the job, and we send in Sue's boyfriend, Steve. We can ring you on that. And will you be um, in there all day, Mr. Malcolm? Lovely. Okay, thanks very much, then. Bye. Hi there. I'm Steve, yeah. Hi, happy to meet you. I'm Steph. Hi, Steph. I'm just camping for... Nice um, to meet you. Sue said to me, Steve might come in. Get looking. Oh, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right, she said, okay. if he comes in, let him sit down. Oh, that's a secret. That's a surprise. What secret? <laughs> I don't you dare. That's not to you. That's for me. Oh, that's to Venice. That's for you and her. You're back on the weekend. You're not supposed to see them. Oh, look, you're I can't believe it. You know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, look, look. Oh, you wrap them up. That's what you wrap them for. And I won't say a word. I'll make out a surprise, all right? So don't worry about that. Hey, listen, if that's her... She's gone up to bank. Good morning, ZRR so Holdings. Can I help? I'm here. Hi, Sue. Your checkbook. Oh, where is it? Jolly, jolly. Okay, see you soon then, Sue. I'm going to Sue. Okay, get in her office. Go and hide in there with your flowers. That's a brilliant idea. Well, listen, don't say a word. I'll, and I'll come out her. a surprise. I'll come yes, out a surprise. Come out a all right, so don't say a word. Okay, get in All right? Quick. Not a word now. Quick. <laughs> okay, shut the door, okay? okay. Good morning, Zedar. So, with Sue's boyfriend hiding in her office, we send in a surprise. Sue's husband. <laughs> What's Stephanie going to tell him? <laughs> okay. Oh, what are you having to hold Dale, Sue? Get a hot water bottle. <laughs> I'm only pulling your leg. Okay, thanks, Simon, for phoning. Bye. Hi, come on. Hi, ah, you're new here. You nosy thing. I'm sorry. Well, you not... looked at them. <laughs> Very intriguing, aren't they? I'm uh, David McMahon. Hi, Sue's Dave. husband. Hi. Sue's Hi. Husband. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not going to be back to that sort of 15, half an hour. She's going to to the bank. Yeah. Do you want me to. Um... <laughs> uh, no. Yeah. Who's going to Venice? I don't know, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a business trip or something. Very nice too. Right, let me just see. I need some more some envelopes. Let's go. Stephanie's off to warn the crowd. <laughs> You're joking. Now what we're going to do? I know what. I know what. Um, you think of something. You're my boyfriend. That's there are me. holdings. Hello. All I'll right. Say, I'll tell Sue. Sort of try and say that you know we're, you're my boyfriend or something. Yeah. Oh, God. All right, Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. no you. Yeah. Hello? Sorry. Oh, hi. She's, Sue's... No, she's not, unfortunately, but the minute she walks in, Mark, and I will pass the message on. Right. Let's send Sue back. Okay, thanks, Mark. Malcolm, Malcolm, oh. she just walked in. Hmm? <gasps> Malcolm, she wants to talk to you. She just walked in, she just walked in. Hmm. Hi, Dave, darling. Oh, I wasn't hi. you this um, morning. I just thought I'd pop in, Malcolm, see how things are going on. Malcolm, back, it's quite urgent. Yes. Dave's... Just yeah. popped in. With, um... Oh. Tickets. Oh, yes. Have you bought some? Tickets to Venice. No, I haven't bought them. They were on the desk. Were they? Claire, on the desk. That's right. Steph, ding dong. <laughs> I don't know if they're James, are they? Hmm? Are they James tickets? Um, oh, the Venice tickets. The Venice tickets, yeah. They're for us, darling. Sorry? Uh, Friday. We're off to Venice, you and I. We're off to Venice? It's oh, a surprise. Oh, Well, it's a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I've got the golf comp. Just a minute, I'll cancel it. Thank you. It's okay, Jeff. All right. Fine. I'm sorry, I'm just surprised you're here. It's okay, it's okay. Right. What's going on? Who is? Yeah? Time to put the cat among the pigeons. Okay. Hi there. All right, okay. Oh, fine. Oh, you sweetie. Um. <laughs> who are you? Let's do this. Well, who are you? Well, who is he? Uh, who, who, who is he? This is not the This is my boyfriend. But he was in your office, Sue. I mean, what? Well, he, he was waiting in there because I thought it would be a bit meeting in sort of a lounge bit if I sat in Sue's office. And then it doesn't disrupt if people walking in and out. It looks a bit of an odd, not an odd ball, Steve, sorry. It's <laughs> 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 out of the way, you know, and I hope you don't mind, Sue. Uh, no. 
No, I don't mind, exactly. Um, lovely flowers. My favourites, funnily enough. Are they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Yes, yes, sorry. Yes, please, please, please. So this is... Sorry about that. Steve. Yes, sorry. That's this right, is yeah. David. David's Steve. This is Steve. Hi. Susan's Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. Uh, hello, Sue. This is Steve. Hello. Sorry about that, Sue. I should have really cleaned it with you earlier, but I didn't really know. Yes. And, uh. <laughs> <laughs> The tickets were for me, weren't they? No, the tickets, tickets were for me, weren't they? We'll sort it out later, right, Sue? So, you know, oh, we'll 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 discuss it I mean, those are our tickets, aren't they? No, but we have got some tickets, but they're not the ones. Steve thinks they're for him. But I, <laughs> I didn't want him to know. He picked them up when he walked in. I picked them up. I didn't want him to know. And he said, oh, it's a surprise. It's not. It doesn't have to tonight. Give the tickets a surprise. I thought it would be a lot of them. So your tickets for your husband have got all the tickets. So. Well, I have to tell you. Yeah. I'm going to spring up with... Full of surprises. That's right, like that. That's that right. Had this, uh, <laughs> and I do happen to know that uh, Stephen here is having an affair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no, I don't think I'm really in a position to comment because it's not really any of my business, to be quite honest. But you did say that this was your boyfriend. Yeah, I did. That's right. <clears throat> and? Sue and me, and we're together, so oh, I'm not so willing. So we're not together, not but. Supporting me. I'm backing her up in this stance. Um, it's me as another of these books. Unfortunately, Stephanie can't be with us tonight, but I think you'll agree she really was absolutely wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, a really big round of applause for Stephanie McGee. Sadly, that's all we've got time for, but before we go, take a peek at this. Well, have you got hairpin or something, Audio? Yeah. We can try and break into it. Hairpin? Yeah. Well, they're not in a sharp hole. to come on Beatles about. But please, please keep your lovely letters coming in. We really couldn't make the show without you and your friends and family. But don't forget, watch out. Next time, it could be you. Good night.